going to show you how to use our template for automating data entry from a Google Sheet using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. Before we start, this is a template. It's not fully configured. You will need to tailor it to your specific needs, but that's done quite simply by adding steps. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder. Let's dive in. Okay, just before we get started, please note there are plenty more Getting Started templates available on our website or in the extension for you to try out. They'll help you out with things like monitoring websites for changes or scraping data. And finally, please click subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Awesome, thank you. Now, let's just whiz you through this template, show you how to set it up so you can get running your bots. Okay, now installing the template, it's easy. You'll see the button on the website or you'll click to install it direct in the extension. Just follow the flow. If you haven't got an Axiom account, it'll help you set that up as well. Now, let's go straight to setting up the Google Sheet. Now, you'll, you don't have to start with the Google Sheet, but we recommend you do, and you can just add some dummy data in it. So create a Google Sheet. In the first tab, create a couple of dummy data entry sets. Each set of data you want to enter, separate on a new row, simple as that, and have a, a second tab in that sheet for recording entry sent. Now, let's go on to the next step. So the first step you'll have to set up in your Axiom is the read data step. Now, let me just toggle open Axiom and you'll see, I'll just get the text instructions there. You'll see the read step here and you'll need to add the URL of your Google Sheet. Then select the sheet name that you wish to pull the, the data from to enter. Also, then we want to, we only want to pass one, really important this, one row of data from the sheet, because what we're gonna do is loop back round, delete that row, enter the data, loop back round, delete that row, enter the data, and so on, and so on, and so on, until all the entries are complete. So we only want one data in the, one row of data in the preview. Now you can do that by first cell A1, so it takes the first cell of the first column, which is column A, and if you've got data entry all the way up to column E or further, just do AE, for example, AE1, and that'll add the columns A to E and only on the first row. Okay, that's important. Make sure you do do that. Only one set of data. Next, let's go to the interact step. Now, we've got some instructions on how to set this up. I'll just talk you through the first part. So we're not going to loop in this, it'll just loop once. We're not gonna loop any more times in this interact step. So you can leave that toggled on or toggled off, it doesn't matter. In the URL field, enter or just get current URL if you're on the right page, just put the URL of where you want to enter the data. Okay, next up. Then what you'll need to do is add what we call sub steps. You'll see this button says sub, sub step. You can add them in between here as well. And we've also got a drag and drop feature that should be out from the time of this video pretty much or in the next few days that allow you to just simply click and reorder them. Okay, and um, so you just need to add the sub steps. I've added a couple of examples in here, but this is where you'll need to do your data entry. So if you need to enter text into a field, as you'll see, you just click the enter text step. And you can pass data from the sheet directly in these into these steps, so it then puts it into the form on the web page. How do you do that? Really simple. Insert data, select your Google Sheet, and then select the column of where your data is previewed of the particular data that you want to send it in that text field. Now, all you need to do is build up those text fields until you've completed submitting your form. If you've got a very long form, I suggest using multiple interact steps but if you do do that, first of all, I would say remove the, in any additional interact steps, do remove the go to URL because it's it will reload the page and you don't need to do that. So that's the part where you need to, I'm just going to delete that, where you need to tailor the bot here by adding the sub steps you need to enter your data into the form. Okay, now let's move on to the final part of the bot. Okay, what we do here is that we, have another read data, we have a write data to Google Sheet step here, where again, you select the same sheet, and now 
enter the sheet, select the sheet name of where um, you're going to record the um, submissions that have been done because we're just going to pass the data from the Google Sheet into, into that step and we're going to write it just as a record so we know who the, um, who the sorry, so we know what data was entered. After we've done that, basically we go to here, the delete um, step from Google Sheets. Again, select the sheet, but this time make sure you select the, the first sheet that has the data in, because this step will delete the data for, one, when, for every loop. So as I mentioned a, a lot, um, earlier on in the video, what we do is read the first row, do the data entry, delete that row, then go back, jump to the top and repeat. So this is the step in order to make sure you're looping through a new set of data, you need to make sure this is set up correctly. So this will delete a row when it's completed. Okay, finally, the jump step. Now it's set to one because we're gonna jump back to the read step at the top, where I'm just gonna add a sheet in there so we can see. So we're just going to jump back to the read step here and read a new row because we've just deleted the old row. We're gonna read a new row. So. I recommend when you're testing the bot, just do a couple of loops, do two. And then when you're ready and you want to do a larger data set, 30, or if you're going to be running bots for hours on a, on a higher tiers, so you, you want to do 100 entries, you can change the number here to tailor to your requirements. That's the essence of setting up a bot that inputs data from a Google Sheet. As mentioned, you will need to, to complete the bot by adding the steps you need to enter the data but that should be pretty straightforward. We've got plenty of help videos if you get stuck on how to do that. And please do get in touch, use our support because we're there to help. Thank you.